I already emptied mine. Dan Bell, here's to you, brother. Cheers, motherfucker! <laughs> Welcome back to the Stash of Beard Show. I'm Austin Pasolka. This is Alan Pilly. We What's got up, off the rails last time because Austin's fucking tired. But now, let me tell you something, brother, brother. We know what we're fucking talking about this time, okay? <laughs> and it's Dan motherfucking Bell, okay? <laughs> Fan of the show. We know he watches all the time. Like, it, well... We know that I tag him in a lot of things on this show. So, so he's seen the show. Funny lead into this uh, is that he had hit me up and told me that he was going to be coming down because yeah. everybody was going up to uh, watch Tommy at the Pro-Am. Yeah. Uh, Danny and Seth are going to be there. He's like, hey, man. I was like, dude, come down. We'll be squatting that day anyway. And he's like, yeah. He's like, more incentive to do the Stash and Beard show uh, an interview afterwards. And then yeah, you weren't here. I'm and so like, pissed. So I didn't even bring it up. I was just like, fuck me. This You're is, like, this uh, is great. And then you were like, I'm going to WrestleMania. I was like... Not the time. <laughs> Not the time. So we had the opportunity to have him on the show. And, and it didn't work it out. I blame so, you two. This, is, this was on you guys. I was I was living my best life at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah but you're 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 the host. I am the I, host. You just saw in the last segment what happens when you leave me at the table. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking do. Uh, you, you know, you're correct on that. It's yeah, quite, hey. totally fine. Yeah. So... You're right. It's my bad. Dan, don't you worry. Come on, Dan. We'll get you on. We'll get you on. We'll get you on. Promise. But yeah, he, he showed up yesterday. We had a fucking... It was, it was a good day yesterday. Yeah. So... He, he matched it. So, Dan Bell, for the uninitiated, is the greatest lifter possibly ever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fair to say. He holds a world record in two. raw... Two, he holds two world records uh and he totals. just talked about it yesterday so i know he he has the all-time world record in in raps yeah he just mentioned it yesterday about sleeves i wanted to say that that was his record yeah i don't know who would have taken that back from him i'll have to research that yeah i don't know but he at least has held a world record and currently yep. holds a world record yeah, and then yeah and took then it back so. from peter petros like we knew yeah. we watched him down at a uh, hybrid which that was those were some of the funniest memes people being like oh man the um, this Russian guy, I don't know what the fuck he was, uh, but er- Polish. all right, everyone kept saying he was Russian because fuck the Russians. Um, <laughs> the internet doesn't give a damn about no. where you're actually from. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so everyone making jokes like this guy, you know, he, he's, he's getting steroids in the, from the Russian government and, and then some dude in so Florida. <laughs> No, we supply, we supply the Russian government. Yes. That's it. With our uh, money. Yes. Correct. For steroids. <laughs> So in Flor- and then some random guy who likes Coors Light in Florida um, takes out his record. Like yeah. that that's that was the meme going around. I didn't I even see that one. Really? And I didn't I see that one. I fucking at all. loved it. We'll have to pull it up. Absolutely. But um, yeah, he rolled through yesterday. So he came through and he matched the squat that he did last time he was here yeah. at 1055. Um, and he is holy two weeks shit. Out, two weeks out from from another meet he's doing. Uh, is the, he really? The Kearns current, US Open. He, he's he's two weeks out already. Yeah. Like he just competed at, at yep. down in Miami. Yep. Do, do we know what he's going for? He's going for more than twenty six oh six. He is like yeah. he 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 feels he can. Holy shit! Yeah. Golly. It, it's funny. Like when you get to somebody of his caliber, you know, um, I, dude, I'll never forget when I first. So I, I had my background in strongman and as far as strength sports, and then I got slowly over into dissecting West Side stuff and then you just start listening to names, the Lily Bridges and the Milanachevs and yeah. everybody wanted to come out and do immediately what Andre Milanachev was doing. At the time, Milanachev was the was the greatest. He was he was the all time world record. He yeah. hit over thousand pound walked out squat, thousand pound monolift squat, things like 1040, 1048, all these numbers, right? Lily yeah. Bridge was trying to chase him. And everybody wanted to do what Milanichev was doing. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, what, what the fuck is Milanichev doing right now? What the fuck is Eric Lillybridge doing right now? But the thing that we had to kind of like hold you back from was like, dude, it's not what they're doing now. It's what they did. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like when we talk about like the pyramid of, of, of or the apex of the lifter, like, you know, we have us down here mm-hmm. and you start building up the pyramid. And at the top, you had the Milanichevs, you had the Lily Bridges. Listen, and now be you have generous to yourself. I'm at the base. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm a step above is, the base. This is There's, this is us down here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But the, the idea, the concept. Don't put me here with you, motherfucker. Okay? I'm literally half as strong as you. You cannot put me in the same. Fucking deer. All right, on my you. pyramid, all uh-huh. right, there's only two stones. You got the top, 
and you got the fucking base. Okay, this is, we're a two stone pyramid. This is bullshit. That's not a pyramid. It is. It's just a, a two stack block pyramid. Okay, <laughs> so there's us down here, and then you got the bells, the Milanchevs, and the Lily Bridges. <laughs> What I'm getting at, motherfucker, okay, yeah, yeah. is is what they were telling the year, and this is years ago. We're going like seven, eight years back. Is that everybody was so consumed with what the what the best were doing that they didn't look at what the best did. They didn't mm-hmm. look that they were at one point the bottom of the pyramid. Right. And so what these motherfuckers had to do at the bottom of the pyramid to get up to the top is what you and I had to go do. We had yeah, to start down to do here. One we had to get a foundation. They only had to do one step. And for what years. these guys are now doing up here, they can get away with because they did all this down here. Right. Like, uh, you know, Dan Bell and uh, Eric Lillybridge and Milana Chev, and there's so many other greats, Ray Williams. What they have to do uh, on a weekly basis and bi-weekly basis, whatever, they don't have to touch the barbell as much. They don't have to do as much weight. They don't have to do as many sets because it's already ingrained. They know. Right. It's like riding a bike. They just fucking put the barbell on the back. Fucking dude, Dan Bell walked in yesterday. Two plates, six plates, seven, and then he took two wrap sets. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? And then there's there's us. You know, we walk in. It's like, oh, I need the barbell for three sets of ten. I got to do. <laughs> got to go out here and fucking walk the parking lot. I got to do some goddamn kegels. Uh-huh. Got to come in and do some fucking bird dogs. You know. But what I'm we saying is like, we got Pilates going on. Yeah, back. You know, fucking meeting Pilates back here, and it's like, hey, bro, thoracic mobility. And those are things that maybe some people need to do down the base, right? Or down the pyramid. Um, coming back to it, like those dudes, they just they get to that point in their career. Where what they have to do to stay great is less. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's than what you and I, yeah, it's maintenance and to build. So coming back, you know, he just he just did hybrid. So his training may be dialed down a bit because he's about to go compete. So 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 short term to most people. Right. But it's just it's what he what he's able to do because of his caliber. You know, right. because of what he's put in, because of his work on the pyramid. Right. You may get done with a meet like what happened in, in, in February, and be like, motherfucker, I need, I, need, I need three months. I need right. three months. It yeah. may be you. Yeah. Um, when Sarah first started competing, dude, we were competing every fucking month. Yeah. You know? And that was her training. That was, you know, we took a week off. We did a little light work. Tune up. Boom. Right back into meet. Yeah. And then we came back. We took a week off. And she was doing, you know, fuck, man, she was, she was racking them up, dude. Jeez. Uh, I know professional strongmen that go out every single month and they do a competition. Not necessarily... Maybe not even to win it. Maybe, dude, but what those guys got to do at that point just to beat you and I is literally show just look up. at us. Yeah, <laughs> show up and be like, I got this one. So, you know, type of thing. And they only have to put in minimal work, but it's training for them. It's, it's a it's a strongman Saturday, you know, like Alan, Alan mm-hmm. Colley calls it. Mm-hmm. And they're doing it every month, and that's their training um, to to stay tuned up to go do these these big shows. So it goes and does hybrid. He, Dan Bell does, and he fucking, you know, obliterates the record. And he dials down a little bit, and he's able to go right back into right. another meet show, so short term, right? You know, and so high caliber, you know, because of what he's put in his work and right. stuff like that. So, wow. Anyway, yeah, you're 100 right. Um, it's good to know I only have one step to go, though. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> now that block, you know, we got to climb that one block. You know, it's just a. I didn't know the one block was a fucking skyscraper. Okay, <laughs> fucking hell. But anyway. <laughs> So, so he rolls through yesterday, you know, he comes now, in. The, so we were talking about this before the show. Uh-huh. So y- you explained what his sets were. Uh-huh. You had the incredible opportunity of being his knee wrapper. Yeah. Explain this situation because apparently things went better than planned. So any, uh, when he came in, I went up to him and I said, hey, man, you know, I, I know Seth normally wraps his knees and he has a certain way he likes it. Everybody has a way they like to wrap their knees. Right. and. If if uh, the first time I've ever rapping you, I've got to learn you. Hey, how does Austin? How does Jody? How does how does I don't know, name somebody? How do you like your knees wrapped? And I can adapt. I can I can wrap your knees the way you want it. So I went up to him and I said, Hey man, I don't you know I know Seth normally wraps you, but I'm right. I'm free to wrap you. Or you know we got guys here. And he's like you know he's like thanks man, I appreciate it. Yeah. I've never wrapped a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So he goes, he does his two wheels, he comes over there. I think he took six wheels. He jumps from so that's six ninety five. Jumps from six ninety five. I think he took seven sixty five. And he's like, I went up to him. I said, hey, what are your attempts? So I know, you know, where to put you on the board and, you know, get everybody going. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm going to go 850, 950, 1050. Right. And so I sit down with him and we're taking his first rap set. And he wanted to rap at 850. Well, I've never wrapped him. So I'm like, hey, you know, what do you want? And he tells me and I go to wrapping him. And as I'm wrapping him, I don't, I'm, having never wrapped him, I'm just wrapping how I think he would want something. Mm-hmm. And he's not talking. He's not telling me. He's just sitting there. He's just, he's, he's just, just, he's just calm. He's just, you know, being damn yeah. bell. Yeah. And mid, mid rap on one knee. He looks up and he's like, guys, throw another plate on. I wasn't prepared for this. And I'm like, 
oh fuck, I I'm rapping. I'm oh, rapping I don't tight. like that I'm statement. Too tight. Right, so we go straight from he hit like seven sixty five. He goes from seven sixty five to fucking nine fifty five, nine sixty five. So about a 200, 180, 190 pound jump. Holy fuck. And I remember sitting there thinking, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm wrapping him too tight. What if he's not prepared for this? But I was like, fuck, man, this man's knees. He's got mm-hmm. a meet in two weeks. This is what's going through my fucking head, right? Absolutely. So I finished rapping him. He goes up, he fucking smokes it. He walks over here and he turns around and he's like, dude, good fucking rap. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, cool. but like inside, so outside I'm calm as fuck. I'm like, all right, dude, you're like, great. Just let me know, you know, next he one. He couldn't have said that. Like, listen, I know, I Any know. Calmer? Like, no, I know that he, that powerlifters are fucking weird and so they go to the bar and they're in their zen place or you know they're doing whatever the fuck uh he couldn't have said like during the knee rep like hey this is fucking t- this is good That's, like yeah like he didn't he didn't say anything until after he had already put nearly a yeah. thousand pounds on his fucking back yeah man and, and I, my mind would have been racy i would have yeah. been drenched in sweat well you know it was like already, nervous it was in here so nobody could really tell that i was that nervous and i'm trying not to be but anyway what i was getting at is like you you have a partnership, so Seth always wraps him and things like that, and you kind of yeah. get used to. It. I'm very I'm very superstitious with who wrapped my knees. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ray Ray wrapped my knees and wrapped my knees, and even to the point you know when we first got started, Ray didn't want to wrap my knees. He was so nervous wrapping my knees, kind of how I was wrapping Dan Bell. Yeah, because you know other people had wrapped my knees before Ray, and other people have wrapped before Dan. So the first time like Ray ever wrapped my knees, he was just like, we ended up finding the other Ray, mm-hmm. and Ray was just like pouring sweat because he was so nervous. And I'm yeah. like, dude. You're fucking doing great, man. Right. It feels good. Yeah. Well, then uh, Ray, um, uh, the other Ray from Backbone comes in. He's like, hey, man, you need me to wrap knees? And I was like, you can wrap knees? And I look up, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, like, I need you to wrap knees. And so Big Ray was like, fuck yeah, and handed it right <laughs> over to Ray. I'm out? Yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay. So Ray wrapped my knees from yeah. Backbone, you know, he wrapped yeah. my knees and did a, did a great job. But yeah. I was I was like, hey, Ray, and I got used to Ray. Right. You know, so that was kind of what that was. I was like, Ray, man. but not Ray. Right. Ray, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our Ray, not Backbone Ray. <laughs> and uh, so that was kind of, I was like, man, I don't, you know, Seth and Seth and Dan have a thing. Sure. Me and Ray, you know, we have a thing, you know, like I'll rap certain people that are like, hey, Alan only raps my knees type of thing. Yeah, and I'm raw so, as fuck, so I don't trust any of you motherfuckers yeah, at all. No. <laughs> For your very first time in knee wraps, you're going in overkills. Uh, so <laughs> the next squat means. comes up. Overkills are they're a cast like super fucking. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're terrible. <laughs> a, an amazing wrap, but yeah. terrible for a first timer if you've never, never had them. Cool. Knee-wrapped. Can't wait to try it. I hope you're ready. Hi everybody. This is where Austin's leg gets amputated. Hope you're ready. We'll try one. Oh god. We'll just go one. Yeah, we'll go one. I kind of want to do two just to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So what are we? What are, are we? We're cranking these fuckers. Like, hey, this is like max yeah. effort. Yep. Uh, I would that. start them at a seventy-five percent. Hold nope. that. Nope. Fuck Fucking need them. I don't know if to handle a max effort yet. Uh, it's nothing. Come on now. <laughs> You can let go of that. Holy shit! Ow! I can't. Ah. It starts to cast. Ah. Keep your knee locked for me. Okay, I'll try it. What? Yep. You do this to both? I do this to both legs. <laughs> ah! Multiple times. Ah! And that's a wrap. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn this way, Austin. Oh my gosh! What you feeling, yeah. brother? I can't. Ah! Can you bend your knee? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm good bending. Oh, yeah! Yeah? Okay, take it off. Holy shit. Uh, how, how does this work? Oh! Oh my god! Yeah. You do this every week? Every week. Our world. Why? And that's me wrapping you. Wrapping myself is a little a little less. Because I have to. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. I... So I can't wrap nearly as tight myself as I can wrap you just for where I'm at with leverages and things, but that's it what happens like, so when somebody wraps me, that's how somebody wraps me. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. I don't want to do that again. 
No, I thought I was going to, I really thought I was going to get both. I thought I was going to be able to do two. Yeah. But that's awful. I, I'm, I'll so dive in. Anyway. Second squat comes up. He puts 1055 on the, uh, on the bar and going back to wrapping his knees. And uh, like I was telling you the story, I uh, was, I, I take care of everybody in here when I wrap their knees. If I'm, if I'm wrapping you, I'm like, man, you know, yeah. hey, Austin, talk to me. They're your knees. I don't want you getting hurt. Make sure we get the weight. Talk to right. me. Yeah, too yeah. tight, too loose. Talk to me. And I'm like, nothing. Other than he's like, yeah, good wrap. And I was like, but, you know, I felt super responsible Ooh. for a set of knees. But it was like, I was like, the all-time world record holder's knees. Right. So it was just like, it's, it's it was not just like. The, the, the intensity had kind of heightened, you know. And inside, right. like, I'm just like, Man, I gotta take care of these knees. Especially you know? knowing he's got a meat coming up. Exactly. Like, you exactly. don't want to be the motherfucker like, that don't fuck this knee wrap up. Yeah. And I don't think I don't. Th- like I was telling Jody, I, I don't go into that being like, oh, hey, Austin, like it's just 800 pounds, man. Like you don't need it. I go into it thinking, hey, these are Austin's knees, 800 pound squat, take care of Austin. I do that for everybody. Yeah. You know, but it, I don't know what it was yesterday. I was just like, fuck, man. Damn, Bill's knees. And well, I was the just like, internet you know, would have come after you. Oh, fuck, man, you, I would have had to move. You, yeah, fuck you would have. You, we, you would have had to sell the gym. You would have moved with me to Nebraska. Like some <laughs> remote goat town in Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, Nebraska. Yeah. I mean, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you've described my hometown. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Pretty, pretty similar, yeah. You know, minus the mountains. Yeah. So, but anyway, that was that was yesterday, dude. It was it was it was a good day. Good. You know, he's, he fucking, he smoked that squat. So good luck to him in a couple weeks. You know. So what do you think? Because everyone talks about like how easy he. It seemed like he took it at not easy. Obviously, he set a world fucking record, but uh, it, it looked easy him doing everything he did uh, down in Miami. And so uh, the room. Rumor mills of people who don't actually know Dan and seeing stuff on the internet, like they're like, does he have, you know, uh, uh, uh what do you take at at? He took eleven oh two. Does it looks like he's got twelve hundred in him, and, and then with with uh, deadlift, you know how he smoked it on his second attempt and just fell backwards, and and people are saying these big numbers. Dan's not saying it. Dan's a super, you know, humble, mm-hmm. quiet guy. He's not going to necessarily let the whole world know what he's going for. Those those but, type of guys do. They'll never let you know. They'll never let you know what they're thinking. They don't, you know. Yeah. They, they they go show you. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, he had made a comment on a post uh, to a, to a friend of ours. I'm not going to bring up the subject on air, but sure. you know, he's like he's like uh, pretty much to the effect that champions champions don't talk; they show. Mm-hmm. You know, type of thing. And that's just, you know, that's how he's been. And that's, yeah. you know, uh, how he'll be. Um, I re- this one, dude, I, I remember sitting here with you on the board being like, man, this is where he's going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like this is where he's going. I don't know on this one, man. Really? I don't know. I don't know. You know, is he just going to chip it? Mm-hmm. Is he going to go 1107, 606? I'm trying to think what the bench was. 601, 603? Yeah. I, I think his just bench was chip like, each of them. Yeah. yeah. You know, to go 903. Is he going to go 909? Right. Um. Take me through that a little bit with with, with uh, all power lifters. Let's say you have a good meet, mm-hmm. and you're like, I feel like I had more in the tank. Mm-hmm. That next meet, do you just chip it, or or do you? Dude, it's a feel thing, shoot, man. Do you it's shoot a feel the thing. moon? It's a feel thing. Like, um, I know we'll, we'll come back to Milanichev. Milanichev, dude, if you've ever watched Milanichev, Milanichev has walked back. I think I watched him take ten forty seven. He picked, he walked, he set, he braced, he squatted, he blew it. Dude, motherfucker looked like 135. Jeez. And he did just enough to break his old record. Yeah. And every fucking buddy wants to know, man, why didn't you fucking obliterate it? Right. Why didn't you go out there and just... Yeah. Why didn't you go for like 1,100? Right. You know what I'm saying? Why did you go from like 1042 to 1047? Right. You know? Um, it, it's, it's the mindset. It's the coach. It's the athlete. Um... It's you and me, you know, like longevity, man. Like, you know, we got we got time, Austin. We got I, I walk you out there every time. Mm-hmm. Hey, and just enough. So every time, and to kind of talk to you how, how I've done mine, I know what I've opened up at previous meets. Mm-hmm. And I would, you know, I, I did like 965. I think, I think, in fact, 955. And I jumped into the thousands, and then that fucking jolted me. So I was like, you know what? Let's just make these smaller jumps. So then I would do 965. Mm-hmm. My next meet, I did 975. And I always just wanted to open up just a little bit more. Uh-huh. Okay? Now, maybe I didn't get my seconds. Maybe I didn't even get my thirds. But even my second attempts were always 
more than my second attempts at the one before. Mm -hmm. Was I feeling great? Could I have gone for broke on my second attempt? Yeah, I probably could have. Would it have, you know, instead of going 1075 in Chicago and I went right for 1124, would I have gotten it? I, re I really don't know. Mm -hmm. My thinking was just more of a chess match with the other guys that I had to go against. Let's let's open up a little heavier than last time. So I'm already better than I was sure. my last meet by 10 pounds. Yeah. And then get in the meet. Smoke. Right. Well, if I make you go take your third, because you think I'm taking the third, but I don't. Well, now I'm still 10 pounds ahead of you. You took a third attempt. So you got to, this is, that's this is crazy. the game that can be powerlifting. Right. You know, and, and, and then, but that's for the WPO. That is so much more strategy than I it, ever thought. It is. Thought it is. When you get to that powerlifting. game, man, and that, so now coming, trying to bring this back to Bell as well. So, you know, when you're at something like that and I'm thinking about trying to take money from you guys, I got to think about y'all. Mm -hmm. Where are y'all going? If I say, say if I'm up 10 pounds on you, but then I go for broke on that third attempt. Right. I didn't, did I need to take it? You know what I'm saying? No, because you're still up 10 I'm pounds. I'm still up 10 pounds, but yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know that it's, right. you know, and you only have a minute to put an attempt in. Right. You know, so you got to think about some shit like that. Now you and I go into the bench and I got to know, hey, I'm up 10 pounds. Even if Austin goes at my 1075, say you went 1117, um, whatever it is. <laughs> And say you get that. So now I got 1075. I'm down 25, 17, 42 pounds to you going into the bench. Yeah. But I know your bench. Yeah. And I know I got 200 pounds on you there. Right. So I got to think. And I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I'm going to pass on my third attempt. Let Austin go mm -hmm. for, for broke on the squat. Yeah. I hope he gets it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, we're out there. Me and you, even though we're competing against each other, we still, still want to see, see you do that. Yeah, I still want to see big things happen. That is this sport, man. Yeah. And I love, yeah, yeah. I love this sport because of it. But I got to know, hey, man, I don't need a third attempt. Right. I don't need a third attempt because I know to take Austin out, I'm going to go grab him on the bench. Right. But then I got to be careful because, man, this motherfucker's a deadlifter. Yeah. So now I'm up 200 pounds on the bench from a 42 on the squats, so and I right. got 158, and I got to be careful of you here. Right. And now, you know, there's so, and this, when you and I are just going, like, say, to a local meet type of shit, yeah. and it's about a qualification, and I need the highest total, I don't care about y'all. Mm -hmm. I care about my total. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this is where you and I, we are trying to lift you know, just as heavy as the you most, can. the yeah. most for the day, you yeah. know, type of thing. And I have to think about that. Right. It's, it's not, I'm not trying to do it with first place at this meet be great. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Second place, things like that, you know, but I'm, I'm thinking, man, I, this is a qualifying. Yeah. This is going to get me up to that next one. So we got to be careful with our jumps and we got to think about totals, you know? Yeah. So, um, I do have to watch where you guys are going. Cause especially if y'all give a shit about qualifying. So I do have to think about that, right. but like, I got to think now maybe this is the meet where I just chip. Mm -hmm. Just enough better than my last one, just to stay in the in the in the game. Right. Maybe I'm not even going against you guys. Maybe right. in my weight class, I'm just by myself. Yeah. You know, type of thing, and you know what I'm saying. So there's yeah. there's there's that game that there's that game plan as well. Maybe at this meet, I, I don't have to do WPO type strategy, but right. we do got to be careful that we qualify high enough and things like that. So right. maybe. Maybe, hey, Alan, we're good if you just make a 20-pound jump here. We don't need a 44. Right. You know what I'm saying? We'll save the 44-pound jump maybe for Chicago or Orlando, wherever. Let's just go for 20 here and things like that. So, you know, especially if we're looking at the rankings and we know, hey, Alan, with your total, you're going to be at number 17 right. out of 30. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, dude, we're fine. We're in the middle of the pack. Right. I don't need 44, but I do need 20. Right. That 20 could knock me down to 24, and now I have six spots that could knock me down and out right. of contention. So there's some things you got to think about that, too. So, anyway. Gosh, I wish my brain was Back working. to Bell. Is he go out here and is he just chip two and a half kilos on right. each lift? Or, you know, is he like, hey, to any of you motherfuckers that are trying to take my record in the future, I'm going to put this so fucking far out of your reach. Right. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know where he's going on this one. I can't call it. We shall see. Yep. Yeah. Two, two weeks. I really wish my brain was working better for that whole conversation because I was thoroughly entranced. I don't know if I'm going to remember most of it. <laughs> so in three weeks, but when we have the same conversation, we this can was on back. YouTube. Yeah, Archive. I can go back and watch it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Absolutely. Underneath here, when our producer right Jody here puts all the key tags and links. He also but absolutely nothing. Definitely didn't put <laughs> name title here on the last one that went up today. I shall explain. He shall explain. He says, "Well, he'll have to explain next segment where we talk about." Working Lifting with injuries. That's it. <laughs> See? He knows how to f***ing pose. Thanks, Stephanie. Later, motherfuckers.